สวัสดีครับ Hello everyone my name is Vadit l i m l a w a n I am PhD student at the r i c of Dr. Ponte from k a s e s a r University Thailand Today I would like to talk about uh, our topic The topic is development of waiting time predictor based artificial neural network Okay this is our outline of presentation today Let's start with the q q is everywhere in daily activities and parts of service Uh, the activities such as banks, public transport, and hospitals. Long waiting has a negative effect on service satisfaction, although the service is not bad. However, service provider cannot eliminate waiting time in queue because it is really costly to do so. The cost and lease of its service systems are limited. To reduce the satisfaction of customers, Uh, some business provides q l i n k information to each customer. The problem is the given q l i n k is often larger than the actual queues because some customer lives uh, before receiving service and the system does not update the number of queues. So customers estimate waiting time from the largest q l i n k s and decide to leave from the queues, and the business lost living room from living customer and may lose the customer to competitors. Okay, based on the problems, the provides accurate waiting time for each customer is another way to increase customers' satisfaction. With accurate waiting time, customers can plan their activities while waiting for service. The objective of our research is to propose a queue system that can provide accurate waiting time to each customers. Okay, next we will talk about waiting time predictors. First of all, we talk about the queue theory based predictors or QT. QT is a bet on a TMN queue system. QT is easy to implement because the equation is so simple. We use only queue lengths, uh, service length, and the number of servers at that time. But the QT may not accurate in queue system that has customer abandon. The system does not update queue length with customer leave. And the next Predictor is historical based predictor. The, we use the last customer to enter service as the historical based predictor or LES. The waiting time is predicted by using the waiting time of the customer who recently entered service. And the disadvantage of this uh, predictor is queue enrollment. The queue enrollment of the last customer who enters service might not be the same as the enrollment of the new customer. And the next is the linear ligations. In waiting time prediction, variants of linear ligations were applied to predict waiting time, and the linear ligation may not accurate if the queues, length, and number of servers do not have linear relationship with waiting time. In this research, we use the queues. Length divided by the number of servers as the independent variables of the linear ligation. And the main predictor of our uh, research is artificial neural network or ANN. ANN is powerful tool that can solve multi-dimensional input and output problems. In waiting time predictions, ANN has been applied to predict waiting time in call center and bank. In this research, we use only face forward ANN. The face forward ANN has only the single uh, hidden layers. Uh, the, in the uh, hidden layer, we use the hyperbolic tangents, sigmoid functions, uh, and we use the linear function as the activated function in the output layers. This is the symbols and ends that we use in our leases. Before talking about the proposed systems, I will talk about the disadvantage of the ticket queue system. Uh, the disadvantage of ticket queue is inaccurate queue information. The ticket queue system does not update queue lengths when customer left the system before receiving service. Queue length and estimate waiting time is often larger than the actual queues. So, from the, the problems, we develop the proposed queue system. The main concept is update queue information. We update queue length from waiting area and update uh, number of counter or servers and update service list. 
from the counter alias. And for update queue links, we use video solens and computer vision. And for the average service time, we use exponentials with moving average control charts. And this is the step of the EWMA control chart. Step 1 initials mean standard division and initial PDX service time and then PDX service time and compare with the low bar and upper bar if uh, PDX service times more than upper bar or less than upper bar we update mean of service time and once we got the information from the system we send the information to the predictor this in this example we send to the ANN predictors uh, queue length service time and number of counters and we will predict uh, waiting time from that information this is the concept of our proposed system okay to evaluate the performance of predictor with our proposed system we decide the test systems. The system open X hours a day or per applications. The service time is the more distribution, which means one and standard division of 0 0.75, and this does mean main shift at 11 o'clock. And the load of system is dramatically changed in the applications. And the allowable is Poisson distribution with the mean of lambdas which is adjusted based on the load and the service length. The lineage time of customer is seconds along distributions with a mean of 15. And the case, the test case, we have three test case that divided by the chip size of every service time. Case one no shift, step two positive shift, and case three negative shift. Training data says is run uh, 30 applications and 10 applications for test data sets. All test data sets were simulated by simulation Arena Lockwell software. And for the predictor in the experiments, the QT we did not install the proposed system in the QT because we want the QT to represent the uh, traditional ticket queues. And we want to compare uh, the linear ligation and artificial neural network with our system uh, to the QT. Okay, this slide shows the parameter setting in the experiment. And, and uh, the number of neurons in the hidden layer is equal to 5, and ANN is 10 by back propagation algorithm in MATLAB, and other predictor caused by Excel VBA. And this is the lambda and L of the EWMA control chart. And for the performance measurements, we use mean square error or MSE and the percentage of accuracy within acceptance tolerance. Okay, so let's talk about the results of the experiments. QT is the best predictor in case one, but NN is still better than other predictor and then with the system is better than QT in case 2 and case T. Uh, linear ligation is the worst predictor in all cases. And this slide show you the part of the actual waiting time and the predict waiting time by QT and ANN. The uh, predict waiting time by ANN is closer than the actual waiting time. Uh, than the predict waiting time by QTs. And for the percentage of accuracy, approximate 95% of waiting time by ANN is accurate within 5 minutes for all cases, and almost 100% is accurate within 10 minutes for all cases. This brings me to the end of my presentation. To sum up, we propose the design of Q system that can improve the accuracy of waiting time predictions for each customer. And compared to other predictors, ANN with the proposed system show better results than the others. More than 95% of predictor waiting time by ANN is accurate within 5 minutes. For future works, more cases on service time 
and customer abandonment will be studied for investigate the effect of them. Thank you for your attention and stay safe.